of his word, what a glory he shed on our way. While we do his good will, he abide with us still and with all who we trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Good morning. God bless you and welcome. I especially appreciate God for your life and I thank God for bringing us all this morning, beholding the 17th day of um, April 2024. We give God the glory as a beautiful Wednesday morning. God has been so faithful. Hallelujah. This morning I'm looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and in verse number 1. I'll be picking up something very important from the first line of this verse. The Bible says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are all in Achaia. I want to speak this morning on the concept of the will of God. What is the will of God? How does it operate? How do people know the will of God? What are the signals or spiritual signals that shows or tells me that I am in the center of God's will for my life? Let's see how the Lord will help us this morning to appreciate and come to terms with this particular word, the will of God. When God created man, he put what they call a will in man. And that is why they call humans a free moral agent. Why? Because you have a will. And you can decide what you want to do with your will. Your will is your power to make decision. Your will is your power to decide what you want to do and how you want to manage your life. So when it comes to that part of you, God has no control. So he created, and that is why he will judge everybody based on how we have used our will. So there's nothing like someone saying, but God, you created me. You know you know what I'll become. You know what my thought, uh, now say, you know my thought are far off. You know very well that I'll fall into sin. You know very well that I will fornicate. You know very well that I will lie. You know very well that I will kill. You know very well that I will steal, but yet you still made me. Uh, it is your perfect. No, 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 no. Even though God is the master planner and is the ultimate uh, and God that you know knows our thought of our but He gave you the will, He gave you the power to make choice, and that's why He will judge us based on what choices you have made with your life and with your will while you are living here on earth. But then, my focus this morning is not our own will, it's on what I caption as the will of God. And the question to everyone this morning are you in the center of God's will for your life? So, to answer my initial question, the will of God is the plan of God. Not just the plan of God, the ultimate plan of God for everyone living on the earth. The ultimate plan of God for everyone hearing my voice. There is God's plan for your life. There is your plan for your life. Now, until your plan aligns with his plan, the frustration is inevitable. Until your plan is in line with his plan, there's every possibility that you will not live a fulfilled life. It is only when you are in the center of God's will, number one, you will find peace with God and peace with yourself. It's only when you are in the center of God's will, you will find fulfillment within yourself and fulfillment in that which you do. It's only when you are in the center of God's will that you will enjoy longevity. Why? Because it will protect what he has already planned. Then the question to everyone hearing my voice this morning, are you in the center of the will of God? The ministry you are running, is it God's will? That marriage that you are in, or the one you are about to enter now, is it the will of God? The business you are doing, or the one you are borrowing money, and you are getting angry and upset why people are not raising money for you. Is there a possibility, it's a trigger that God is not just sending you there because He cannot support anything outside His plan? 
Are you in the will of God for your life? Remember, life is short. This morning, if you are not so sure, go back to God and ask the question. Jesus, is this your will for my life? Remember, I said that God's will is God's plan for your life. So this morning, everything you are doing, the one you are about to do, go back to the table and ask God. Pastor, the, what I'm experiencing now in my life and in my marriage, Juliana, is it too late to go back to ask to ask God? I'll talk about that more tomorrow by God's grace. But this morning is to know that whatever is God's will concerning our life, we we'll pray that it will prevail. It was God's will for Paul to become an apostle. And also, even though initially he was a terrorist, he ended up and ended up as an apostle. Is there a possibility that you are completely out of God's will? That's why things are all over the place. I don't pray this morning, the Father, plant me in the center of your will. I pray the Almighty God will help us this morning. And His perfect will will prevail in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you this morning for the life of every living soul you are preserved to behold this morning. Thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for the blessedness of a moment and a time like this. Living Father, be exalted in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for someone hearing my voice, wherever and however they have lived their life, that is outside your will. I pray that by your mercy, you will reconnect everyone back to yourself. You will reconnect everyone back to yourself. That Father, we all, we operate in the center of your will, that no one hearing my voice will be lost. In Jesus' name, amen.